welcome to another unboxing. So I'm out on a camp tonight and uh, I was hoping this would come in time and it has. So I'll just open it up for you and let you have a look at my new sleeping bag. So it's going down to uh, 0 degrees here overnight. So I am doing a hot tent but I'm obviously not keeping the, uh, the, the what's it called, the fire burning throughout the night. So I wanted something a little bit warmer. I purchased, um, oh gosh, like a fleece liner for me, uh, me other sleeping bag. But I don't think that that would actually cut it tonight because it's gonna get really cold. And it's the coldest I've ever camped out in. So um, I'm looking forward to it, but I was a little bit apprehensive in regards to what was going to happen in the middle of the night. But now that this has come, I'm, uh, I'm pretty chuffed. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. And I must admit, it is ultra light, which is like what it says. So that's it. So it's East Hills Outdoor, and it's the Bison 650 ultra light sleeping bag. So that's the... Uh, I came through on Amazon uh, Prime yesterday, next day delivery. So I've seen quite a lot of reviews uh, online and thought, it sounds pretty good. Um, quite cheap as well for, um, like it's a three seasons bag, it's not a four seasons bag. Um, but for me, from, from the reviews what I've heard, uh, the guys who, who I've watched have, have said that it is toasty warm so yeah but that was temperatures around about three degrees this is a 15 degrees Fahrenheit sleeping bag which to us in Celsius is uh, minus nine so I should be I should be fine tonight so yeah so it's the bison at 600 down uh, 650 down sorry and um, it's duck down rather than goose down. So let's have a, a quick shifty at it. So I'm gonna do a full review. Um, it's not gonna be in the, the wild camping video. It's gonna be in a separate little video. But I just wanted to uh, do the unboxing with you guys before I headed out later on today. Okay, nice. So a lovely nice stuff sack. And to me, this is this is light. And I know I've seen on uh, on YouTube a few of the other videos that have said, well, I don't think it's an ultra light one. But to me, from what I've been carrying for a three seasons bag, that is light. You know, so that's first impressions. So I've gone for a green one. There are different colours out there, black orange and green um, I like I like green I've seen a lot of the blacks so um, the orange was way too bright for, for my style of camping um, I'm out in the Lavoo tonight doing a hot tent um, so I wanted something that will blend in uh, in the woods and that's a nice shade of green that so it's quite a shiny sleeping bag so I'll lay it out and then we can we can have a a look at it. So this is the regular size. So I'm uh, I'm five foot nine. So I'm hoping I'll fit in there pretty pretty damn easily. What I really like, I mean, the zip, the zip actually goes down three quarters of the way. It just stops there, which is fine. That's not a problem. So what I like about this is you've got this here, which you can fit your pillow in. Now, um, I'm going to have to see if mine will fit in there. My nature height pillow, to me, it looks a little bit small for, for the nature height, but we'll see. And that's no big deal anyway. 
So you've got a baffle that runs all the way across to the other side. And with that, you've got some more Velcro on that side and also Velcro on this side here to actually basically mummify you. <laughs> Keep you nice and taut inside the sleeping bag. So that's good, nice hood. So the hood, let's have a look. Pop you, let's pop you there, have a look at the hood. So the hood's got drawstrings, which is great for tonight because I am gonna be really cold. Well, I'm hoping I'm not gonna be in this. So the down feels lovely. Like I say, it's duck down, not goose down. Um, I believe that the uh, the duck down is actually produced from. I know it sounds awful, but it, it's it's better than plucking them when they're live. They're actually uh, plucked from dead chickens. Well, ducks, <laughs> chickens, ducks. Um, so yeah, so that's good. Um, if you were concerned about that, which I am, I don't like uh, any type of cruelty to animals, so that to me is uh, is a good bonus. So you've got some ties here, so you could actually peg it if you wanted, peg it out so that it doesn't actually go anywhere when you're you're in it, which I might do actually. And it's got pegs at the at that side as well. Because you, I, I don't know about any, anybody else, but I'm forever turning in my uh, my sleeping bag, and I end up in all sorts of positions. So that's good. So you could just root it down with a couple of temp pegs, so that you're not actually going anywhere. So as I say, this is uh, a uh, regular size. So there is a, a bigger size if you wanted to go for that. Nice and shiny. Um, I'm also going to do a water test. It is, uh, I wouldn't say it's waterproof, it's water repellent, so I believe. So we'll try that out at camp. You've got your full breakdown, just there. Which I don't know whether you can see. And it's the Bison 650 regular, and it's ducked down. And it's 700 grams and 25 ounces. And it's 650 fill power. And the comfort, there we go, is 50 Fahrenheit and 10 Celsius. And let's have a see. The transition is 30 Fahrenheit minus 1 Celsius. And the limit is 15 Fahrenheit. Ah, there we go, minus 10 Celsius. So that's pretty darn good. So for me, this three seasons is going to be my go-to winter bag, I'm hoping. Because winters here in the UK don't get nowhere near. Uh, well, some some nights you'll get minus 15 and things like that, which it is really cold. Um, but then you just throw in a, um, a wool blanket or something like that. Well, that's the plan anyway. Um, that's if it ever gets down to that. But... For tonight, where it's uh, it's not degrees, I should be nice and toasty in this. Now, I'm not going to take anything else. I was going to take the fleece, but I'm not going to bother with it. I'm going to put it through its uh, its proper paces. Me, I mean, you guys know me. I'm um, I'm quite a a, a, a cold, a, a warm sleeper. I need, I like to be warm. Um, I hate being cold. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to see what what's what in it. I am going to take um, a hot water bottle, <laughs> so I'm going to take that just to keep my feet nice and toasty, but um, that ain't going to last the whole night, so we'll see how it goes, but yeah, watch this space and we'll see how it goes in the camp tonight, alright. Right, I'm basically in, I've just got to kind of straighten my me, uh, me bed up, but... The next thing to do 
blah, blah, blah. And I'm thinking, this is piping now. Whoop. That's cool. Oh, yes. Look at that. Okay. So, I'm in the bison, sleeping bag, and, um, okay, where's the top gun for that? I'll sort it in a minute. Um, there it is. Yeah, so I'm in the bison. I took my pants off, not that because I'm hot, but they're dirty, and I don't want to scruff up the the sleeping bag so I've uh, I took my pants off so it's going to get a good a good seeing to tonight this uh, this sleeping bag to see whether or not it holds up to a naught degrees comfort rating I hope it does but as I've said I'm quite a, a cold blooded person I like being warm me so we'll see we'll give it a rundown and we'll uh, we'll get the verdict tomorrow or possibly tonight this morning <laughs> if I wake up cold but I've got like I say I've got me uh, my hot water bottle for my feet and I've got wool socks on I'm sleeping in my fleece and I'm sleeping in my t-shirt um, but that's it duds all the way undies so we'll give it a try we'll see what happens all right guys thank you so much for watching and uh, I'll see you in the morning if anything happens like maybe uh, some uh, some more tree knocks I'll bring you back if not See you Bye. Well, how was the night? Um, it was alright. I just said in me, uh, me other video, which I've done about uh, the hot stove, the hot tent. Um, because I've no pants on, it's uh, it's not been chill. It's not been cold. I've felt it more through the floor rather than anything else. I've got the uh, the out kit, um, a new more um, reflective sheet, and then the tarp underneath. And I was seeing my hip uh, because I've no pants on. I've been feeling the cold through the floor, I think. But the sleeping bag is has been brilliant. It's so good. It's it's like a it's like a, a lovely warm duvet. You know, it's only thin. It's probably about as thin as my coat. But you can get right up and over your head as well. Into the into the proper mummy formation. It's the lightest, warmest sleeping bag that I've got. So you can imagine um, my um, the bouncing bomb. <laughs> the Arctic sleeping bag, the British Army sleeping bag. It's warmer than that, I would say, in this in this type of weather. You know, it went down to naught degrees easily last night. Um, or this morning. And it's I've not felt it. I mean you can see my breath, can't you? And you know how cold it is. Um so I've not felt I've not felt it through that. The only reason I've felt it is because one, I've no pants on, and two, I think it's it's seeped up from the floor through the mat um, and hit me that way. But once I've moved over, turned over, and, and lay on my back for a bit, I was fine again, nice and warm. So, well, I can feel it with this hand out at the minute. It's so cold. So, yeah, it is an absolute 
most, I think. I don't think I'd, uh, I don't think I'm going to be going back to any of my other sleeping bags, put it that way. And it would be brilliant for Charlie as well. Because I really want him to come out camping with me, but if he's cold, that's one thing that will put him off, and it might put him off then through summer, so. But one of these, brilliant, absolutely fantastic. And I've just got one more test to do, which is going to be the little water test. See with the Lavoo, or with this size Lavoo, um, your feet can, you can wake up in the morning with your feet out of the, underneath of the Lavoo. <laughs> and if it's raining, you've got soggy feet and a soggy sleeping bag so I just want to I just want to try it I ain't gonna soak it through but I'm just gonna try it but I believe that they are uh, water resistant up to a certain point so that'll be fun so yeah a good a good cape I feel quite refreshed even though it's uh, six o'clock now I'd say so we're gonna get packed away and uh, yeah, it's been a good night. So there we go, guys. Prime example. It's uh, <clears throat> it's at the bottom of the Lavoo. <laughs> so while it's out at the bottom of the Lavoo, let's try a little bit of a water test on it. Ah, oh, that's good. That just. Now it just runs off. Obviously don't want to do too much. But it might just give you enough time to realise Hey oh <coughs> my feet are out of the bed. <laughs> are out of uh my feet are out of camp. I need to uh pull them back in. So yeah, so even the mats out look. That's okay. That's good. <laughs>